All right, so I wanted to just cover here separately this export button, um, the function name, and just function calls. So uh, let's, I should have said clear our steps. Yep, great. Okay, let's pretend like we're gonna do something here. Uh, well, we're gonna click that, move away, an actual click, display matches. Okay, oh, interesting, it did find two. Um, wow, because the file is the same. Uh, let's move it to there. Great, that works. And and let you know what, let's add a second one. So move it to there, and then we'll move it over to the help next. Move away. That's a move also. Display matches. And then, wow, interesting that it found both of those. So it's fine. Now, if you're like me and you have um a library, a function library, well, a library in, in Auto Hotkey, it searches. Boy, is it five places? Um, um, go watch a video I have on it, but definitely your where AutoHockey is currently running from, the LIB folder there, and your My Documents folder, and the local folder for an LIB folder. Uh, there's all these places where it'll, if you have a function by a given name, it will it will look for it there, and it's, it's a little more complicated. I don't want to get into that, but I did want to explain the difference here. But when we say, first off, let's call it something. Now, AMT is the um, default, um, and caps don't matter, but so this is automate my task uh, is the default. But if I said Bob and I hit just function calls and export, it puts it to the clipboard. And when I come in here and paste, notice this is called Bob. Now, when I try to save this and run it, save it, run it, it's gonna say, hey, Bob, there's a problem here because and it's terrible to read it here, but um, somewhere down here, let me expand this. Um, Bob is not a function that it knows of. Oh, it does not exist. Here we go. Call it a non-existent function, right? If I use the default, now I've put this in my library, AMT, um, and I hit export, it's going to copy it back on the clipboard. Oops, well, I'll just get rid of that anyway. And I put it here. Now these two, see how they begin with AMT? This is a function call. Functions are amazing. You watch, I have a whole series on that. Um, it defaults to that and because in my library let me pop open i have a shortcut to my library where it went i have no idea it opened it um I, the problem is i have a bunch of things there we go always sit on top so here's my lib folder under auto hotkey and in it you'll notice i have an amt file and so my function if we look in there I created this, I went in and said, hey, put this AMT in here. Now the question is, where would you get this? Well, all you have to do is the first time is um, turn off just function calls and hit export, and it's gonna copy everything to your clipboard. So this, I'm in my AMT file in the LIB folder. I'm gonna highlight everything and hit paste. And now if I want, I can get rid of, not if I want, this is what I should do, right? Is get rid of this, get rid of the, the top parts here, and see, he um, Maestrith even said, "Don't do not change from here." Right? This is for setting. This is the AMT function in my function library, so I can save it here. Now I have that in my library. Um, now I can go back to my actual function. I'm sorry, my script where I have some stuff, and I can run launch it, and there's no error, right? And if I run it, it would actually try to do it. We're not going to worry about that. Um, but I just want to note, you can either, you can have it like this, and let me, again, let me clear this out. You have a choice. You can say just function calls or export um, just function call, which just gives you the calls to those functions, or turn that off and get everything, right? So I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to get everything. Now this I could put in here. Um, because it's local, I think I can still launch it and it won't give me an error. Although um, sometimes if you have the same function named in multiple places and there's any difference whatsoever, it'll come up with an error. Uh, it, the, the biggest question you have is, are you gonna share your script with someone else who doesn't have this in their library? If so, shove it in here. Um, if not, you might put it in your library like me and then just always reference it the same AMT name and then you don't have to worry about having all of this, and it's still, it's not a big function, right? Maestro did an amazing job uh, cutting it down. So there's, let's see, 119, well, let's just go back to the file. Uh, 108 lines, and I think there's a little room here and there for small stuff to get cleaned up, but mostly he compresses things a lot, right? So people don't like it. I, I like it because it just gets it down. But um, 
yeah, it's uh, that's what you want to use these things for. Um, and again, I have uh, a whole load of videos on functions and using your library. So check those out if you're not familiar with them. But the whole goal of this tool isn't to do stuff in the tool. It is so you can export auto hotkey scripts and run separately. So I hope that helps. Cheers.